Good evening. My name is Bonnie Barrett. I am the director of Yamaha Artist Services here in New York. Yamaha's commitment to developing the synergies between music and wellness is matched by a steadfast dedication to an incomparable global artist relations program. Supported by outstanding artist service centers and professional artist relations staff at major music capitals throughout the world, Yamaha provides exceptional instruments and technical service to meet the exacting needs of the remarkable musicians who play them. Through these intimate collaborations, Yamaha's quality and craftsmanship fuel the artistry of the world's leading pianists. Yamaha's distinguished international artist roster includes a dazzling list of musicians of the highest caliber, spanning all genres of music and styles, including such luminaries as Elton John, Paul McCartney, John Legend, Alicia Keys, jazz artists Chick Corea, Danilo Perez, Hiromi and Makoto Ozone, and classical virtuosos Frederick Chu, Olga Kern, Abby Simon, and Michael Tilson Thomas, to name just a very few. I'm very, very proud that three of the newest additions to this impressive list are here with us on the stage tonight. First, Byron Janis has never been your run-of-the-mill classical pianist, a risk taker and an enigmatic searcher into the depths of the most glorious piano literature, not to mention his own soul. Byron has never feared challenging himself or the status quo. From Chopin to Rachmaninoff, from the worlds of Broadway to American popular song, Byron Janis sets the standard high and has done so for more than half a century. His recordings are among those most coveted by classical music aficionados, and he continues today to inspire pianists everywhere through his magical approach to the piano. We are thrilled to be working with a master among masters, the incomparable Byron Janis. Tony Desaire, who you're he you will hear in a minute, was dubbed the next male vocalist rising star in the 2009 Downbeat Critics Poll, and he has quickly become an audience favorite for his concert performances throughout the United States, Europe, Australia, Japan, and Hong Kong. Tony's retro contemporary sound has drawn frequent comparisons to Frank Sinatra, and he brings his own unique interpretations of the great American songbook with his dazzling piano riffs, original vocal stylings, and prolific songwriting ability, Tony is one of the freshest and most versatile talents to emerge on the stage. He has performed as soloist with orchestras, in intimate settings as a soloist, or with his trio, and in big band settings. His original song compositions have been featured in numerous films and television. Downbeat Magazine named Gerald Clayton who you'll hear in the next segment, one of the up-and-coming jazz pianists to watch, while the New York Times lauded his Oscar Peterson-like style and huge authoritative presence. Jazz music is in Gerald's blood. It's in his DNA. His father is the legendary bassist and composer John Clayton, and his uncle is the saxophonist Jeff Clayton. At the age of 28, Gerald is one of the most thoughtful and articulate young jazz musicians performing today. Having been thoroughly trained as a classical pianist and later studied with such renowned jazz pedagogues as Shelley Berg and Kenny Barron. And it's now my pleasure and privilege to introduce Tony Desaire. Well, thank you so much. It certainly is an honor to be here. And uh, Byron, even though we just met today, uh, I've, I've certainly, it, it's, a great honor to be able to play for you, and I know that we share a, a mutual love for this wonderful instrument that has uh, such magical and healing qualities, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people that love the piano agree. And in fact, in the program, it says I'm doing a song named G Baby Ain't I Good To You. Well, while sitting here uh, watching all this, I changed my mind. <laughs> and this song is uh, by Irving Berlin, and, you know, I also got to thinking, you know, after I was, I was completely blown away by Dr. Kogan's uh, performance. Uh, and, you know, I always like to think myself about what the composers were thinking, what was going on in their lives. But 
I never stopped to think, I wonder how the relationship with her mother was, you know? <laughs> Which, you know, when you go deep like that, I mean, it's just, it, it really was there. So anyway, this is uh, Irving Berlin uh, with a few lyrical alterations. My apologies to uh, Mr. Berlin, but uh, this is my ode to my favorite instrument. As a child, I went wild when the band played. As I ran to the man while his hand swayed. Clarinets were my pets, and the slide trombone I thought was simply divine. But today, when they play, I could hiss them. Every bar is a jar to my system. But there's one musical instrument that I call mine. I love a piano, I love a piano, I love to hear somebody play. Upon a piano, a grand piano, it simply carries me away. I keep on trying to play like Byron. I love to run my fingers o'er the keys, the ivories, and with the pedal. I love to meddle when Mr. Janice comes this way. I'm so delighted to be invited to hear that gentle genius play so you can keep your fiddle and your bow I love the P-I-A-N-O-O -O -O. I want to stop right beside an upright or a high tone baby grand Just trying to play like Byron. I love to run my fingers over the keys, the ivories, and with the pedal. I love to meddle when Mr. Janice comes this way. I'd be delighted to be invited to hear that gentle genius play so you can keep your fiddle. And your bow, I love the P-I-A-N-O-O -O -O. I want to stop right beside an upright Or a Yamaha, baby 